What is better than a Sansui G model? Two Sansui G models. Usually I don't bid on stuff online, but this was very close to my uh, location, so I figured mm, nothing can really go wrong because I can pick up. Hmm. If you buy stuff online, the guy that sells it screws up on mailing the stuff. Usually it's not packed right. How to pack right? I made a video on this up here. Check it out. So. I got carried away uh, last night and when I saw this thing and like I said I usually don't buy online because you never know what you get. The guy posted like three pictures and he only wrote one sentence saying that the device works but I couldn't test it. So it does work but um, as I expected it's not working because it doesn't output anything. I don't know what's wrong with it. I haven't opened it yet. I will not have the time today because today is uh, another vinyl garage. So I'm pretty busy setting up everything here for uh, you people to get here and, and check out the, the vinyl and the vintage hi-fi. So you're welcome to stop by if you see this today. <laughs> I just had to get it because it was only like a 45 minute drive so I figured okay I'll give it a shot and what do you know my bid was the highest I did calculate that I would have to replace the amp section so that's probably what's going to happen I don't know how much that is going to be I will keep you posted on that of course the picture that was online of the faceplate uh, it looked as it was in a very good condition. You couldn't exactly see because it was like made in the dark and it was very pixely, but I don't know. I think this happened after he took the picture. So when I got there, I was shocked. <laughs> It has this huge scratch here. It's about that long. And then he was like, yeah, yeah, you could see that on the picture. And he showed me. And so like, you see, there, there, you, there you can see it right there. And I'm like, yeah, dude. You know what? That's not going to happen. So we talked price. Everything was good. I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to replace the faceplate. This is just going to be another project of taking out a fat scratch on a metal surface of vintage hi-fi devices. I want to take this thing apart and then see if I can touch up this scratch. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got to say about this thing right now. I'm going to be excited how it's going to compare to my 9700. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and see ya.